want the best controller customizations around, then head over to Angel Grips, use my code Goon, it will get you 5% off. What's up guys, Goonlist here bringing you a Man of the Match play review and today we are reviewing Man of the Match Kevin Gamero, the French striker who plays for Sevilla. There's a quick look at the squad that I played him in, remember guys 300 likes would be amazing, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. So taking a look at him, 5 foot 10, medium medium work rates, right footed, freestyle weak foot and skill moves as well. Cost me 30k, it's still glitched but it says 16 games, 16 goals and 7 assists and he only costs 30k as well. You'll see is that he's only gone up by 1 overall, pace gone up by 1, dribbling, defending, passing and physical all by 2 and then the shooting seen the biggest increase going up by 4 overall which is what you want from a striker anyway. Looking at the in-game stats what you'll see, not much dark green on there but agility, standout, acceleration are definitely all standouts on there as well. 62 strength is disappointing. Lots of light green, the odd yellow in there as well, so it's not too great. Skill attributes, again, pretty much more of the same, although finishing is in dark green at 87 is the main standout right there. But even when you look at the hex skin, you'll see he doesn't really stretch to any of the edges at all. So it's pretty much average across the board, weighs 158 pounds, can only play as a striker as well. And even when it comes to specialities and traits, he's only got the acrobat speciality. So what are my expectations of this card? Well, I was hoping for something like his FIFA 12 in form you'll see in the corner. That was an amazing card, if any of you remember it. An outstanding striker as well. But unfortunately, it wasn't up to the level of this card. He hasn't had a card like that since then. And they've all been pretty average and disappointing. So what are you going to get from this card? Well, I liken this card to sort of a jack of all trades. He can do everything pretty much, but he doesn't do anything exceptionally well. So, I mean, he does have freestyle skills, freestyle weak foot as well, so that's okay. So, at least he can do the basics. He's not a Mario Gomez that just can't do any skills at all. And he will be able to get you the odd goal here and there. But his sprint speed is disappointing. It's like in the 70s, whereas his acceleration is decent. So, I mean, he does have a burst of pace sometimes. And sometimes you'll notice that you'll be able to, like with this goal here, get away from defenders. But he doesn't keep up the top speed and they do catch him up very quickly. So, that is a real disadvantage in terms of when I thought the pace might be better. When he gets opportunities in the box, he does finish. He's not great from outside the box, so you're not going to be scoring many long shots with him. But anywhere from like, you know, 12 yards or anywhere in the box, he'll do a job and he'll finish as well for you. What else are you going to get from this guy? Well, his agility and balance are great as well. So that's always fantastic in terms of being able to hold off your defender. It does help a little bit with his strength, but he still is a weak striker as well. So, you know, he's not going to be able to hold up the ball against those like bully centre backs that are going to be always there dominating you every single time you load up ultimate team. The medium medium work rates are a pain as well for any striker. You want them to be high up the pitch and that is just annoying. But he is super cheap at 30k so I guess you're getting what you pay for but with the recent price ranges now cheap players have been it's probably not the best investment for your coins. However that is from a playing point of view and from an investment point of view he still instantly sells so maybe his price range will go up. So let's review overall what I thought about. He's got great finishing inside the box. The acceleration is fantastic. His agility and balance are great as well. And he is cheap at 30k. You can't get much for that in Ultimate Team. The thing is, he's not the strongest. He's so weak. Medium, medium work rates as well isn't great. And the sprint speed is a disappointment as well. So overall, I give this guy 7.25 out of 10. He had potential. Not up to his fee for 12 days. Definitely not. That's the review, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.